Hey everyone, Andrew with Andrew's Air Cool Technology. I uh, wanted to show uh, a little experiment that I've been doing uh, on the new product idea of the cooling flaps uh, replacement for the stock cooling flaps. You can see right here my uh, mock up engine with the cylinder tin off on just this one side. So you can kind of see uh, the flaps installed. I have a thermostat underneath uh, as well, uh, original thermostat working, thermostat of course, and all the linkage in the back is set up, you know, with the spring and, and the whole thing. So this is with the uh, thermostat completely compressed down and you can kind of see where the flaps are there. Virtually closed 100%. Um, they don't quite close all the way um, with the thermostat, but they're but they're very, very close to being closed, and so you're cutting off the air uh, almost completely here. And you can see here, this flap also, right here on my finger, moves. So these two flaps are the moving flap. This one right here is actually fixed position. So it doesn't move at all, and uh, so it just stays there. And you kind of also can see the lineup of this really well, I think. Um, you know, this stationary flap is lined up directly with the first fin on the cylinder head. Um, the way these will line up when it opens up and I have a heat gun under here and I'm going to turn it on in just a minute just to let you know and you'll, you'll be able to watch these flaps move as the thermostat expands so simulating essentially the warm-up of the engine um, with a heat gun basically pointed at the thermostat down below and you'll see the angles. The reason I did this test was to make sure like you know here's a example of my 3D printed set of uh, cooling flaps and if I kind of stick them on there kind of like so you can kind of see there you know kind of where that ends up roughly um, so, you know so I've got these right now in the design kind of going straight up and down this one is is the fixed so it's exactly the same as what's there uh, these are these two are the ones that move in the stock flaps and of course would be fixed in the open position in this product but <clears throat> So I wanted to make sure that I had the angles of these since all of them are now fixed that I had the angles right for when these flaps actually are fully open uh, And then we're not doing something funky with the angles and getting the airflow wrong uh, In the shroud and I'll show you in just a minute. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to turn on this uh, uh, heat gun all the way up I hear it running in the video and then you can just watch those flaps uh, as they open so you watch this one they'll start going this way this one over here will start they'll all go into the motor so you see I'm opening 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 some more as that thermostat expands and right there, that is fully open right there. One of the things that you'll notice is this one that opened is essentially aimed, aiming the air at the top four fins on the cylinder. That's where the vast majority of the heat in, the, in your cylinder is at. This stationary one is exactly lined up with the first fin on the inside of your cylinder head and then this one is just slightly beyond this area of your cylinder head so most of the air it's trying to put right in the center of the cylinder head all of these fins and then you still have a gap obviously on this side which is then cooling through the exhaust side of your cylinder head up here so so this this part of the airflow right here is all for essentially the exhaust side spark plugs and the exhaust side of your cylinder head the rest of this is all geared towards these fins right here and of course through the center also holes here and that's why you, there's a deflector underneath that you should have if you don't have the deflector underneath you should have one because um, it's going to push the air out this way on the bottom of the cylinder head cooling this side and getting the bottom of the uh, exhaust port side of the cylinder head and getting that cooled so you get more even cooling at least as best as you can with this kind of setup so as you can see that's where the angles are virtually straight up and down 
got a slight angle to it, but just a hair, not very much. Um, so probably like maybe a couple of degrees off on what I want to do and then I'll have them exactly right. But essentially that straight up and down is very close to what it does. So that's where um, we are with that and thought you guys might be interested in, in seeing this um, to know that uh, the flaps are, this is the way that my flaps will come. They'll be, they'll be just like this in that open position. Uh, obviously fixed, no thermostat. So all you guys that are not running a thermostat but um, are missing these flaps You'll be able to have a product that you can put in here. Um, they'll be in the open position all the time and they'll be directed at the right part of the cylinder head and cylinders accordingly, just like the stock ones when they're in the full open position. So really appreciate it guys and I thought you'd be interested in that. And so this is really how I'm finalizing the product. I have a prototype sitting in the background that I'm just got, I gotta weld the pieces together. Um, and uh, we're going to make just a small adjustment to that. We're also going to make a small adjustment to this part right here. It, this rear, this was like sheet metal bent together and then, you know, and then, and then attack welded um, using some attack welding machine, not my hand tack welded, but... Um, and uh, in later models in Mexico, they eliminated this front part, which I think is actually quite smart from a standpoint of that's just adding somewhat of a restriction uh, of the air right here at the cylinder head. So you, it's really not needed. That was just really there to put, make a, make a piece that stays together. Um, and so I'm gonna be eliminating those. So it won't be exactly the same as these because this front part I'll eliminate in my next uh, uh, iteration of development for this product. Uh, but we're really close now, I think, uh, now that we know this, we have basically all the information we need. Um, I'm going to test the templates for drilling holes in aftermarket. Of course, with this particular, you know, if you have an OEM fan shroud and you want to put these flaps in, it'll just screw in, you know, perfectly with these, um, you know, with the holes that are already there. So you don't have to worry about that. And of course, you don't have to have the thermostat, you know, rod and all that. So um, I think it's going to work really, really well. And uh, we'll get this product hopefully to market very soon and uh, into your guys' hands. So appreciate it, everybody, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.